We all know that there is altered gait pattern in patients of osteoarthritis knee due to pain in knee joints. In this video we will observe the improvement in gait after bilateral high tibial osteotomy. Here 67 years old lady was operated on her right leg by high tibial osteotomy in March 2018 and was operated on her left leg by high tibial osteotomy in January 2019. Here there are pre-operative and post-operative x-rays of this lady. As we can observe that weight bearing axis is very well shifted near Fuji Sava point in post-operative x-ray. If we analyze pre-operative walking gait and post-operative walking gait, we can observe there is marked improvement in gait pattern. If we observe normal gait pattern, there are mainly two phases, one stance phase and second swing phase. Stance phase is further divided in three parts. Heel strike. Mid stance. And toe off. Swing phase is further divided in three parts. Acceleration Mid swing And deceleration We can observe that there is flexion of knee during swing phase of gait cycle. If we observe preoperative gait pattern of patient of bilateral osteoarthritis knee, there is no flexion of knee joint during swing phase, but patient is tilting pelvis and keeps her knees extended during swing phase of gait. As flexion of knee increases pain during walking, she is avoiding knee flexion while walking. Now we can observe improvement in gait after bilateral high tibial osteotomy. If we analyze post-operative gait, patient is flexing her knees during all three parts of swing phase. Acceleration, mid-swing and deceleration. So, after perfectly done high tibial osteotomy we can expect to gain normal gait pattern while walking over and above pain relief and full function of knee. If you find this video is useful and informative then don't forget to share with your friends. For more videos about high tibial osteotomy visit our website drdineshthacker.com.